Hey YouTube, welcome back to another episode of the Lit It's Fire Company vlog. Today we have a little bit different of an episode. Uh, we're in the classroom learning about reading smoke. Contrary to popular belief, not all of our training is the cool action movie firefighter stuff that you see on TVs or the big screens. Sometimes our training is being in the classroom and learning. As I said before, in today's class, we're going to be learning about reading smoke. Now, you may be asking, Chris, how do you read smoke? Are there words and letters in the smoke telling you what's going on? No. There's four key things. Volume, how much. Velocity, how fast it's moving. Density, how thick it is. And the color. It's a brown smoke, white smoke, really, really black smoke. Now that we've learned those four ed indicators in reading smoke, let's jump over to the instructor and he'll do a little bit more explaining. All right, guys, we just finished up uh, reading smoke with retired deputy chief, correct? I did get that right. Uh, Phil Jose from uh, Seattle Fire Department, uh, and he's going to explain a little bit about what the class does for the fire company, but also how it helps us help the community. So the class is the art of reading smoke, and uh, I started teaching about five years ago, and I've been teaching fire service classes for about 30 years. So what it does is it lets firefighters determine from the outside of the structure looking at the smoke reading the volume the velocity the density and the color what's going on inside the building in order to predict where's the best place to lay a line where's the best place to search for uh, people who are trapped what's the what's sort of the best alternative to solve the problem that the fire presents with that, the more efficient we can be, the more effective we can be, the better we are at meeting the mission to save lives. And that's what reading smoke is all about. So before we get to this, we need to do this. That way we can better serve our community. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the Lititz Fire Company vlog. I hope you learned something. Again, I hope it was informative. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you know the next time we upload a video. See ya.